Welcome to All In. On today's show, we'll recap the all OVC selections that were announced today, preview the OVC tournament, and of course, make some bets. But first, let's see our, how our bets performed last show. Blake predicted the women's basketball team would go 2-0 versus UT Martin and SEMO, which they did, and Blake won three chips. Blake also won two more chips on the bet that the women's basketball team would make the OVC tournament. They finished in sixth place for the OVC tournament. For our final two predictions, I won one chip on the Murray State men's basketball team covering the 15-point spread against UT Martin, but unfortunately I lost two more chips on the bet of Ja Morant going over 10 assists in both games last week. That brings our final chip count to Keenan 27 and Blake 33. Now it's time to ante up. Welcome to All In for our OVC tournament themed episode. The All OVC awards were announced to today for the men's and women's teams. But before we jump into our bets, let's recap how the women finished. The OVC all newcomer team was highlighted by freshman Macy Turley and junior Evelyn Adebayo. On the all OVC second team, Turley also cemented her spot. The 10 person all OVC first team squad was highlighted by Evelyn Adebayo. And to cap things off, Macy Turley was named the OVC's freshman of the year. So Keenan, a lot to be celebrated there with the announcement of these awards today. Mm -hmm. Another thing to be celebrated, the Racer women's team clinched the sixth seed in the OVC tournament. Mm -hmm. They will now play UT Martin on Thursday at three o'clock in that uh, first round of the tournament. Mm -hmm. um, that's a team they've beat before, so it's certainly possible for them to get to that quarterfinal round. But right. um, let's talk about Austin P real quick, and then we can kind of preview this UT Martin game. You were there mm -hmm. on Saturday. What did you think of their performance and really their momentum and turnaround as, as the season starts to wane? Well, the game kind of started off slow for them, but uh, after the senior Michaela Man Manley hit her first shot of the game and uh, first three for the racers, uh, it, they turned around pretty, really, really pretty quickly. Uh, I mean, they, did, they pretty much had their foot on their necks the entire game. So for the Martin game, I think the main thing will be handling turnovers. Uh, uh, just applying, uh, going against that pressure from Martin because they're going to press them. So uh, as long as they handle that pressure and keep the turnovers low, I think they'll, they'll be a big game. Sure, I agree. It's definitely going to come down to turnovers, and we're going to get to that with their bets uh, momentarily. But in that last game, they played Martin. They, they came out on top, and they led most of the game. But in that fourth quarter, they committed 11 turnovers mm -hmm. to the Skyhawks. And the Skyhawks almost mounted the comeback late in the game. Um, but I think the Racers escaped with, uh, I think, about a three-point win there. Mm -hmm. um, but it's going to come down to that. 25 turnovers in that last, last contest. It's a miracle that they survived and got mm -hmm. out of there. Right. But that same thing isn't going to happen in the OVC tournament. Obviously, um, the better team is going to prevail there. UT Martin with a great bench. Mm -hmm. um, the Racers probably one of the thinnest benches in the league. So mm -hmm. it's going to be interesting how that plays out. I think mm -hmm. they're going to win. Um, mm -hmm. I know we kind of disagree a little bit on that. Yep. But so that kind of brings me to the first bet. Do you think Murray State will win one or more games in the OBC tournament? Uh, I think they'll win at least one. I think they'll think get Martin. Martin. I game. think they'll go get the Martin game. Okay. Uh, after that, I don't see them getting past that uh, second round in the OVC. Okay. Uh, as you said, their bench is pretty thin. Sure. So uh, I'll put five chips that they beat Martin, but uh, that's probably as far as they go. Okay. Um, for this team, I, I think it's really dependent on who shows up. We've seen different teams where you have um, a team where four players will come and score double figures, and typically those are the ones those are the when the racers come out on the winning side. But when they don't, when it's just Evelyn and Macy, those are the times when you see the team struggle. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm gonna, th I, I believe that they're gonna win that UT Martin game, and then that next game they'll play the winner of a JSU and Moorhead. They've beaten JSU before, had some tough contests with Moorhead. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna match you on that with five. But uh, I don't believe it as much maybe as them winning that first game. It's definitely going to be tough. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'll match you with five. Okay. So let's go to our second bet. Um, we mentioned the turnovers, 25 in the first one, I think 22 or 23 in the, in the first meeting they had with, with UT Martin early yeah. in the season in January. Mm -hmm. um, let's set the line at 19. Over, mm -hmm. under, what are you thinking there? I'm thinking they go over. Uh, okay. As you said, that last that fourth quarter they committed 11 of their 25 turnovers. So. Uh, I say they go over uh, 19 turnovers. I'll put six chips on that. Okay. Interesting. This is one I don't really. I I don't. My heart's not in it. All right. Because they've let me down before. And 19 is a lot. Is is not enough compared to how much they normally have turned the ball up against them true. historically. That's true. But I'll go in. You know, it's time to keep up my winning ways. So I'll match you with six. 
So right. from there, let's go on to men's basketball. How about that? Okay. Cool. So we saw the women's awards. Let's jump into the men's side to see how they performed in the OBC award race. Junior Darnell Coart has been named to the all newcomer team along with other players from around the conference. The Racers had two representatives on the all OBC first team. Shaq Buchanan and Ja Morant both made that list. Buchanan also made headlines by receiving the OBC Defensive Player of the Year award and sophomore Ja Morant received the OBC's highest honor by being named the OBC Player of the Year. Mm -hmm. So definitely some big honors there, especially for Ja. It's actually the second year a Murray State's men's basketball player has won the OBC Player of the Year mm -hmm. after yes, Jonathan Stark won it last year. Mm -hmm. So definitely a big honor there. Uh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's just jump right into the men's team. They clinched the double by on Saturday with a right. um, win over Austin P. an electric game. I know mm -hmm. you were there. Yep. Um, what, kind of, what kind of momentum does that kind of hold for this team as they prepare to face the winner of Jacksonville State and the winner of uh, Moorhead, Moorhead State, or excuse me, UT Martin and Eastern Illinois? Uh, I think that uh, I think they'll keep riding that momentum that they've already created and that they've maintained for majority of the season. Uh, I mean, John Morant's been explosive all year. Uh, he's kind of hard to stop, no matter what you throw at him. I mean, he just he overcomes it. So, and with uh, guys like Shaq Buchanan, he's averaging 13 over uh, two about two steals a game. So, and Defensive Player of the Year. So, I think uh, I think they'll they'll be good this year. Interesting. That's that's going to be um, an interesting thing to watch, especially mm -hmm. that first round with uh, EIU and uh, UT Martin, because those are both teams. UT Martin beat JSU earlier in the season. JSU is mm -hmm. obviously the favorite in the next quarterfinal mm -hmm. matchup, mm -hmm. but I think it's possible that they could end up being upset. We'll get to that with it's the possible. bet coming up. But mm -hmm. let's get to this first bet, um, and it's a simple one. Will Murray State win the OVC title? Will they win the OVC title? Uh, that's that's a that's a good question. Um, of course, uh, any sane person would say yes, but you got to look at the determining factors. I mean, you got Belmont up there as well. Austin P. They're not too far behind Murray State. They have a very good team, very good front court, and uh, have a very a lot of good players. So, I'm gonna say they don't win the OVC tournament. I'm say they get to the championship game, but they'll lose. Interesting. I'll put uh, I'll put seven chips on that. Yeah, big spender today. Yeah. Okay. I don't even know if that was seven. I'll count it later. I'm going to say yes, and here's why. They played JSU early in the season, a 20-point mm -hmm. demoralizing loss, um, mm -hmm. road loss to the Racers. They played Belmont early in the season, 13-point 13, 13 loss at home. Both of those, John Morant wasn't at full strength. Mm -hmm. I think that you're going to see a renewed John Morant in this one, and obviously you know when he plays well, the whole team plays well. I mean, right. that's just uh, just common fact. But um, I think – this team has shown last year they did the same thing. They lost the two games. They sure. ran the table, won the OBC championship. Mm -hmm. Could we see the same thing again? I think so. I think this team is playing with a renewed sense. You've seen Darnell Cowart's progress late in the season. Mm -hmm. um, he's really come on. So I think it's going to be there. It's going to be tough. Um, I think they'd really be helped if Belmont lost in that semifinal to Austin P. But mm -hmm. I will match you at six. And maybe the racers get a little luck in who they play in the championship or the semifinals, whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. um, next bet. Let's go this JSU game, at least what we think will be the JSU game right now. Let's set the line at minus six. Okay. What are you taking there? I'm minus six take, for JSU, excuse me. I'm going to take uh, the over. Really? Yeah. You're going to take Murray State plus six? Yes, I will. Okay. Uh, I think it'll be a close game. Uh, I think free throws will put them over late. Uh, I think they win by at least ten. Mm -hmm. You think, really? Yeah. Okay. I don't, I'm not expecting that big of a turnaround. I'd like to think... I don't like that Murray State can pull it out. I'm not going to take that bet right now. Let's move on to the next one. Um, this wild card bet, we'll wrap up with this. Um, this looks like some matchups in that first round that could be some potential upsets. Right. Um, there'll be one point, let's say this wild card, there'll be one and a half upsets in the LBC tournament. Are you taking the over there or the under? I'll take the under. I mean, it's not a pretty stacked conference. Uh, okay. the, it's very top heavy. So I'll take the under on that. I'll put three chips on that. That's interesting. See, I think already, just looking at what I mentioned, the UT Martin EIU game, I think UT Martin has a chance to get that upset. That's mm -hmm. going to be one right there. And then even that next game with UT Martin and JSU, I mentioned UT Martin has beat them already. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's a potential. There's also potential for that Austin P Belmont upset. P's playing great. Obviously, mm -hmm. they almost beat Murray State on Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's going to be two. I think there'll be two upsets. Okay. Um, and we will see how that plays out the first game starting on Thursday and spanning until Saturday. All right. That'll do us here. That's all for this week on All In. Tune in next show to see how our bets land. 
Stick around for slam poetry from Sam. <laughs>